Let's talk about arrays of nested documents or objects. Here is an example of document that consists of one field, friends, and this array contains several objects. And each object has two key value pairs, name and age. You are able to easily run queries on documents with such kind of arrays. Let's look at the examples. First example query is just friends.name equals Laura. In this case, MongoDB will search for friends array and then go through all subdocuments in this array and find name field in the subdocument. And if in any of the subdocuments will be found match name equals Laura, this document will match query. In the same way, we can use, for example, friends.age equals 23 or 25. Second example, just friends, colon, and an object with two key value pairs. In this case, we are looking for exact element that matches this object. And in our case, first subdocument of the friends array will match. But if we simply will change order of those key value pairs, so first will go age and then name, we will not get any matches. Because we are looking for exact document match. It means this object must exactly match one of the subdocuments in the friends array. Let's go on and practice this. Remember that we have persons collection and we have loaded 1000 documents into it. But those documents don't have such structure that we have discussed before. I have done this on purpose because I didn't want to make our documents too large. That's why for this section we need to load one new document into, for example, first collection. Let's open first collection, make sure that it is empty. If it is not empty, just run remove command here, command enter. And now we will load just one document into this first collection. And this document is attached to this lesson. Name of this document is array of nested documents.json. So please download it and open. This file contains just one object with two fields, name and friends. And friends is an array that consists of three objects. And each of those objects has key value pairs, name, age, registered. Last object doesn't have registered field. It has just name and age. It will be enough to load just one document to get understanding of how querying of arrays with embedded elements works. So just copy whole contents of this file, go back to Mongo shell and just perform insert one operation. So insert one, then leave just parentheses, remove curly braces and just paste here the document that you have just copied and execute this command, command enter. And you should get a result here at the bottom. Acknowledge true inserted ID of the newly inserted document. Okay, let's perform find query. Find query and just remove all those contents and put empty query here. And here we have just one document with the name Mike and with friends that is an array of three sub documents or sub objects. Okay, let's perform some queries on this document. First query will be following. So just make it more pretty here. First query will be following. Just friends, friends.name equals Laura, command enter. And we get this document in the results. It means that friends name Laura matches this document of the array. In the same way, 
we can query by age, for example. Age 23, command enter. And again, I get this document because this subdocument matched. Next example. Let's replace number here with some conditions. So just add curly braces and add two conditions greater than colon 20 comma dollar sign less than 25 and let's execute this command enter and again this document matched what happens here we are looking for friend's age that is between 20 and 25 mongodb will look at each document in the array and compare its age to those conditions. And you see that in our case this object matches and, and nothing else. So just one object matches. Yes? If I will change 25 to 23 here, command enter, in this case no documents match. Ok, let's remove this query and perform another one. So just use friends column and let's copy this document that is an element of the array. Just copy and paste here. Command enter. In this case document matched because here is exact match. We just search element by element and this last element matches. Let's change an order here. So just remove age from second line, paste age here, comma, and then name, and this comma should be deleted. Command enter. Now I got nothing, because order of elements in this object matters. Let's adjust this query. I will remove contents now. So remove contents, execute this query. And now I will add two conditions. Friends dot name colon steve and next one friends dot age 27 command enter and now this document was matched because friends name steve was found here and friends age 27 was found here let's add one more condition here so just comma then enter to go to the new line and just friends registered true how do you think will this document match or not command enter and yes it matched why because we have three conditions and we process them independently so first we are looking for steve in the name field and we find it here then we look for age. We find it here. Then we look for friends register true and find it here in another document. Because again, conditions are independent. That's why this document matched. You may ask me, what if we want to match all those fields of the same document in the array? There is a special operator for this, called element match. And let's talk about it next. See you.